one Shaber 1000 here today we're going to be putting this custom wiring harness in this 2010 Chevy Traverse now there's a couple things I want to talk to you about these harnesses and uh, we'll get into that here in just a minute hang tight guys Right, guys I got this wire harness from from uh, Kurt and um, I'll give you the uh, the part number here in case you need to get one this also works on Equinox and uh, I think it tracks I'm not positive you, you know you got to do your research and make sure but I um, this will work on a uh, an Equinox um, there's the part number This is from Kirch 56027. Now this is for the vehicle that does not have the factory tow package, okay? If you have the vehicle that does have the factory tow package, you'll get this. Okay, this is also from Kurt. And I'll show you the part number. That's where I screwed up and I bought the wrong one. And uh because there's a plug down under here that I was thinking was it, but it wasn't, so it was my fault. Anyway, I sent it back. I still ended up with this one because when I bought the hitch, uh, I went through, what was it? I went through e-trailer when I bought the hitch. Uh, next day, they called me. They actually called me on the phone, and they said that they couldn't get the hitches in it could be another month so I said well cancel that order well this was in with that order and they didn't cancel this so I got to sell this okay now the part number on this this one is for the factory tow okay um, the part number on this is 55384 again that's through Kurt now this one what it does is right up underneath right above where your hitch will be there'll be a plug there okay and what you'll do is you unplug that plug you plug this side into what you just unplugged from and this side or vice versa into the harness and that's all you have to do on this one again that's with the factory tow package now usually if you got a factory tow package it usually has the hitch and harness on it but that's you know a replacement if you need it now this one here this is for the like I said the vehicle without the factory tow package now what you got to do with this one it's still real easy guys what you'll do with this one let's go ahead and take it out of the rubber band I put so many of these things on at work that was oh it was unreal so what you'll do now you have two of these okay now you you'll need to you'll need to put your ground somewhere up underneath the car wherever okay so this one with the yellow the brown and the white this is going to go to the driver's side the left side what you're going to do and I'm going to show you this what you'll do is unplug it and you plug one end into your light socket and the other end into the harness this one will come down underneath the vehicle go across back up there's plenty of room to get these up through now you you have to fish it a little bit but it's not that hard I'll show you what I do this one is the green with the two whites that will go to the right side which is the passenger side and then of course you've got your four-way flat and you want to tuck these all up in there nice and neat now this does come with the uh, hot out here guys 95 right now we've been getting into the hundreds uh, does come with your your little cover that will I usually put this on later because what this will do I'll show you when we get ready to do that this will slide down over there and then what this does is just a just a water boot keeps the water and stuff out 
but I put this on later so it doesn't, you know, get caught on stuff. Okay, uh, it does come with that. Of course, it does come with your install instructions. It does come with a self-tapping screw, which you can use for your ground wire. Just put it up in there somewhere nice, out of the way, so you can't see it. Body ground it, frame ground it, wherever is convenient for you. Um, but it's a self-tapping screw, and you also get your zip ties. You may need more. You may not need all of them. Okay, so, and again, here's your... Here's your instructions, right here, and it tells you, you know, where to plug the things into, it gives you a list of what's in the box, and again, this part number is, where's that, 56027, alright, so, make sure, sometimes they get packaged wrong at work. Sometimes I would I would grab the the kit and it had the wrong harness in it, you know. So always make sure you got the the right number five six zero two seven. Okay, so let's go ahead. Whoo! Pull these tail lights out. Really simple, guys. Let's get into it. Okay, now to pull these lights out, I should have my mic on. What you're going to do? These two buttons here. You get your little screwdriver in my case I'm using my pocket knife and they shouldn't fall out unless they've been out before they should hang there and inside there uh, let me see okay inside there is a hex head nut or a hex head screw now sometimes they'll have a Phillips sometimes they'll be Torx but in this case it is a hex head screw which I'm going to have to go get a socket for because I was thinking it was a Phillips. So let me go get my socket and let's pull this out of here. It's real easy. You still want to be careful, especially on these older vehicles, because up in here, boop, there's uh, little tabs, which I'll show you. There's little tabs that you don't want to break off. So let me go get the socket I need. Okay, so this is what I've got. This is a 932nd. And when you put these back in, if you're using one of these guns, again, be careful because it's only going into plastic, okay? So, and you'll have to do this to both sides. All right, now, let me back you up here a little bit. Let's see if I can get you a better angle. I know the sun's bright, and I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so, now this, what you're going to want to do I don't know what you're seeing and what you're not. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you'll push this back and that'll come out, okay? Now under here, this, this plug here is the plug that you're going to plug your harness into. Now we got to, we got to fish this down through here and out the bottom of the vehicle. So what I usually do is now to unplug this, there's a little tab here that you push down and pull it right out. There's a tab right here. You just push that down, pull it right out. And then I set this aside because if you break this, you know, here's uh, what this does is it goes into a little rubber boot there. So you inspect your boot, make sure it's not all cracked up. This one's not too bad because if that rubber boot's gone, this will it won't come out as long as you have your screws in there, but this it, it'll rattle. You know, you'll get that sound going down the road. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this, I'll show you here. We're gonna fish this wire right down, right down through there, and it'll come out the bottom. Okay, so let me I may have to fast forward you through this, but so what you're going to want to do is you're going to fish all this down through your green, white, and your pigtail. Okay, this is all getting pushed down through, except for the yellow and black. The yellow and black, again, is for this side. 
which it's going to be plugged into well I can just show you right now um, so what you're going to want to do you got a plug like this and a plug like this okay so this is going to plug in here just like this make sure clip clicks clips in there real good and then this end will plug in to that right there okay so let's go ahead and get this fish down through because like I said the other side will go to the other side of course but the green one's always your right white is always your ground brown is your tail lights or running lights and yellow is your right or your left turn signal okay and green is your right turn signal okay now some of these like like the s like our uh sometimes these will just fall down in there this one's going down pretty good on its own the uh toyota tacoma like if you have a tail light assembly that you know has your white for your reverse lights your red for your tail lights and the orange for a turn signal if your turn signal separate you'll have to get a module for it they're a little pricey but it, but they're fine you can't just wire in into these okay uh on like the toyota tacomas anything that has like an orange a separate turn signal that's what you'll have to do so but in this case we don't need to do that are you going to have to lay on the ground so i'm going to see how far down i am Okay, I'm almost there. There we go. Now, we can just pull this straight down through. I'll show you once we get up under there where, where it comes out at. It looks like it's blocked off, but it is not. Okay. All right. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and put this tail light in. Sometimes I would wait and make sure everything works. But since this is all new, it should work fine, and it's real easy to put these in. So or take them out in case I have to, but I shouldn't have to. So I'm going to plug that in until it clicks, just like that. Then I'm going to put my tail light back in. Make sure you got plenty of room there. Don't force anything. There's that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, button this up. We'll get down underneath the truck. I'll show you the best I can how I'm gonna route these wires. Sometimes there's places you can tie them off at, sometimes there's not. Like you gotta watch your exhaust pipe and stuff like that, but we'll get to that here in just a second. Hang tight, guys. Okay, here's a good example of what I was talking about. You never know. This one has Phillips head screws in it. The other side, so one of these have been replaced See, this is what I was thinking it was to begin with. I would say the other side has been replaced because of how easy it came out and because of the different screws. I remember these things just having the Phillips head screws. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I got this... Uh, I don't know how well you can see that. Let me turn the screen. I got a roll of this uh, copper-coated wire. You can use mechanics wire, which I have some, but I couldn't find it. So I'm just going to use this. And you're just going to fish this down through just like you did the other side with your harness. 
just going to shove this down through to the bottom and this is what we're going to tie our other end of the wire on to once we get down there and run it across okay so I want to do that well that was stupid that was all the way out the bottom I didn't see it until I started pulling it up okay so you're not going to be able to get your hands in here all right and you can get your hand up through the bottom a little bit if you got small hands but so sometimes if you got a buddy you can push your wire up through and they can grab a hold of it whatever use a piece of coat hanger to grab it whatever it's not that hard there is plenty of room in here it doesn't look like it but there is so that's what I'm doing right now so I'm gonna go down underneath I'm gonna go get my light because I forgot my light I always forget something I try to have everything out here for you guys but uh, and I'm gonna run these wires across here so that way you'll see what I'm talking about underneath okay so we've got our wire fish down through here like I said you gotta watch out for this exhaust but there's plenty of room to run that wire now I'm get you up under here and show you what I like to do is run it up on top of the hitch here's here's the hitch I like to run them up on top also you've got on this one maybe not all of them but they should be protected underneath that bumper right there if they're not sometimes I don't know if you can see up in there or not but sometimes let me get a light on these wires for your backup assist those little that's your backup beepers for when you're getting close to something now sometimes those wires are open whatever you do don't tie onto them because if something rips you'll rip them out those are very expensive and there's our there's our four way four way flat now what I'm going to do is this is the green wire well other end this is the green and white wire it's going to run across here and I'm going to tie it on over here I don't know what you guys can see I'm going to tie it on over here it's going to be up above the muffler up out of the way now these mufflers don't get super hot but just in case and I'm going to pull it up through with this okay now I know I'm not going to be able to keep you down here but I'll show you when I'm all done how I routed mine and then you'll get an idea how you can route yours because okay so let's go ahead and pull pull this off okay uh, come on quarter turn alright okay so that comes off there's our hitch and our wires are going to be right into here where you at right into here and uh, I'll hook tie them up here somehow They're, they'll be right here so I can just pull them out when I'm using the hitch uh, that's pretty much what I did on the truck only it was you know it's open okay so let me get let me get this wire run but you get the idea I, like I said I can't keep the camera down here so I'm going to go up above that wire tie it whatever and then I'm going to find a place for my uh, my ground wire now my ground wire uh, it's not going to land on my phone uh, I will probably ground right in here somewhere of course make sure it's metal because some of these are plastic uh, scrape it off a little bit and I'll run that that screw in there and uh, sometimes these screws they're not the greatest so if you got one which I probably use one of mine it's how little that is sometimes they they don't tighten up all the way and you lose your ground and your trailer lights aren't working so that's probably what I'll do is go right beside this because I know there's nothing behind here I got to worry about and I'll put my own screw in there so anyway let me get that wire run across there and then we'll pull this up through one other quick uh, tip go ahead and run this your other side 
and get it mounted get it hooked up in there and everything first that way if for some reason this is not long enough to where you need it to be you can buy a little pigtail extensions you know six eight ten inches whatever or you can have them made up or make your own but just in case uh, I forgot to mention that because I have seen them before to where they just weren't quite long enough and I had to put an extension on it because once I had everything buttoned up there nice and neat and I started on this side I didn't have enough enough to go up through so uh, I had to undo it all and then make an extension so just keep that in mind but on these I think if I remember right these are pretty pretty good and you have pretty you have a good amount left over so just a quick tip for you on that and there we go once you get it started it'll come up through now let me go get a screw and we'll hook our ground wire up okay so what I used to scrape that with was just this that paints real thin it goes right through the primer that's pure metal so all I did was just scrape a little spot where this is going to be just like that like I said make sure there's nothing back there but I know for a fact on these there is nothing back in there just like that now you don't have to do this if it's up in here it's pretty well protected but Like up north, yeah, you probably want to worry about it. Down here in Florida, or you know, you don't have to worry about that. But I always do anyway. A little bit of silicon sealant, whatever, just enough to keep that from rusting. You'll be fine. Now, let's go ahead. Like I said, you can't mix these up. There's only one way they'll go. Make sure it clips. And now the tail light. Just like even the plugs will only go one way. There you go. Just like that. Now, scooch out here a little bit. Alright. Make sure you got everything down here out of the way. It shouldn't rattle around. If it does, if you developed a rattle, you know what it is, but um, it everything stays pretty snug up in here, so you should be all right. Now, we'll put our screws back in. And then we'll go, and then I'll go underneath and get that all buttoned up under there, and I'll show you what I'm doing there. And uh, we'll be good to go, so. Stick with me guys, we're almost done with this project. It's very easy, very simple, any do-it-yourselfer can do it, even if you're not. Uh, you'll still be able to do this. It's, it's that simple. And I know we've all got that friend that likes to work on cars. Well, growing up, I was that friend. <laughs> I was a good guy to have around, okay? So make sure it's tight, good to go. Moved a little bit, there we go. All right, let me get down here and get this all buttoned up. We'll go from there. Okay guys, so this is what I did. This is the driver's side. That's where it came down, the wire. Put it up here, I got it zip tied. Same way with this side. I got it zip tied. I wanted to show you about that exhaust. See, that is way up there, out of the way. It's not touching the exhaust. It's got about four inches, three and a half to four inches. Uh, it's kind of tight. Don't get them too tight. You don't want them stretching. But Now this, I just wrapped some black tape around here, some electrical tape. If, it could, if, this, if this was going to be seen, I would put some, you know, fuel line or, you know, wire loom on it. But it's not going to be seen, so that's going to be good. And this is just going to be right there. 
so I've got plenty to pull out. So I'm just going to put it right there for storage with my little thing here. Now I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. Let's see here. I'll show you how um show you how I put mine on. Let me raise you up a little bit. Okay. All right, now All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find it's going to go like this because there's a certain a little hole in there that this that your ground goes up into. So I'm going to flip it like this and put this on here. Now they make little brackets for these things that take just a couple screws and you put them up here on your hitch wherever you want to put them and they uh See, just like that and then you don't this won't be hanging it'll be mounted permanent so I'm gonna take this up here I know you can't see it but I'll show you here in a second what I do with this then we're gonna check our lights so this is what I do right there just run it through where your safety chain goes because this is gonna be out of your way once you put your safe once you get your trailer on this ain't gonna be through here so it's not gonna it's not going to hinder anything then I'm just going to stuff this up in there but let's go ahead and let's check our lights let me get that off of there I'm just going to use a test light okay all right now wherever I put my test light there it is oh, I put it up there but I did this is your ground so I'm going to clip onto my ground you can also ground anywhere on the frame or body of the vehicle, but when I'm checking these, I like to check this because if this ground's not working, nothing will work, and you may think something else is wrong with it. Okay, so there's that. It's hanging there like that. Now I'm going to go turn the headlights on. And I'm going to check the brown wire. Whoops. <laughs> may just have to hold that on there. This this clamp is not. These test lights, man. See, it's on. Can you guys see that? Okay. So now I'm going to check the uh, the left turn signal, which is going to be the yellow. So this will be the yellow wire, which is right beside the brown. It's the one in the middle. See, it's blinking. Now we're going to check the the right, which is the green. And we have them all. Now, to check the brake lights, what you would do is put something on your brake pedal or have somebody step on the brake and check your your yellow and your green. Okay? That's without your without any flashers on. You check your yellow and green, they both should light up. Now, on this one, I don't have to worry about that because I know on this particular uh, vehicle. I know that if I've got a left turn and a right turn, I'm going to have brakes because it's on the same circuit. I'm going to have brake lights. Now, if you have a different circuit, like I was talking about earlier, where you need the module, like on a 2003 Toyota Tacoma, something like that. If you have separate turn signals, if you have orange turn signals, uh, 
then you'll have to check them okay and you'll do it the same way like I said you have somebody put your foot on the brake check the yellow and check the green they both should light up this one I don't have to worry about it because I know if these are blinking it's on the same circuit as the brake lights so I don't have to do that you can if you want but you don't have to on this particular model so uh, yeah if you don't have if you don't have that little electronic box and some of those you got to run a wire up to the battery you know a power wire for them to work if you don't have that if you just got this system you can check your left and right turn if you got those you have brake lights because like I said they're on the same circuit okay so let's get this put back up in here and we'll do our final thoughts okay so Alright, let me get this up here. We'll be done. Okay guys, so there you go. That's to put your trailer light harness. Some people call them pigtails. Some people call them Y connectors. That's what you got to do. Put it on this 2010 Chevy Equinox, same thing, uh, Traverse. So, it's real simple guys. Um, it doesn't take as long as what the video took because I like to explain things. I have people that have commented, I talk too much, just show it. Then when I do that, I got people, more people saying, you know, I wish you would explain more, you know, blah, 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 asking me questions. So, you know what, from now on I'm going to do it my way. I'm going to explain if people don't like it, they can click off or, you know, they can they they can fast forward forward through it whatever I'm not going to beg somebody to watch my video you don't want to watch it go somewhere else and watch it watch something on on U-Haul uh, and then after you do it their way then you'll come back and ask me questions I won't answer you how's that so I'm sorry I'm a little salty guys but you know I got a lot of shit going on but that's what I'm going to do from now I'm going to do it my way so if the people that's watching this that has to fast forward through it because you know I can't do that for them or your music's too loud your intro was way too loud well I'm sorry but I'm not in control of your earbuds and apparently those kind of people don't watch enough videos because 90% of them blow your fucking head off with the sound anyway I try to keep mine as normal as possible I'm not a professional filmmaker. I don't claim to be. I don't want to be. This is my hobby. This is what I like to do. So anyway, for those of you that support me, I thank you very, very much. You guys are awesome. But that's all it takes on these things. It's real simple. Hopefully, you got the gist of it. I know camera work kind of sucks, but I do this myself. I do my own filming. You know, I'm holding a two and a half pound camera trying to show you this you guys this stuff up underneath there so you know I don't have a ten thousand dollar lift I can put this thing up on and have my buddy sit there and do everything perfect but you get the idea you know don't wrap your wires around the exhaust pipe don't wrap it around you know don't wrap your wires around a drive shaft I mean it's common sense keep keep it away from sharp pieces that may cut into the wire keep them away from that keep them away from anything hot you know don't wire it on to existing wires you know it's just it's common sense guys but this is sorry about the rain it just oh I, I can just hear the people now you know my haters that's how I know they don't watch through the whole thing you know like if I say throw something in towards the end oh by the way this is how you do this like the tent you didn't show how you put the 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 that TP tent you didn't show how the poles go Actually, I did. If you watch the whole damn thing, I do show it, and I do show you how they work. So, you know, that's how I know when people don't watch the whole thing, and then they're just too quick to type, type, typey, typey, type in their mom's basement. Ma, bring me another sandwich. I got to type to this guy because I didn't watch his whole video because I'm a 37-year-old piece of shit that don't want to work and get out of his mom's basement. Anyway, sorry about that. just had to get it off my chest. But that's how you do it. And you guys that support me, I thank you so much. You guys are awesome. You're the greatest. I mean, because I honestly, I would still be doing this stuff if I wasn't YouTubing. I'd still be doing it. But I bring you guys along with me because I want to share with you some of the things I do. And maybe it might just help someone, you know, so they don't order the wrong part. And, you know, like I did, you know, we're only human. I ordered the wrong part. My fault. Okay, so I want someone else not to do that. So, you know, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. It's pretty simple. Stay tuned. I got a, I got a whole trailer light wire kit and light kit 
for the boat trailer we're going to put uh we're going to rewire that and put new lights on i got the smaller lights because that one's got the long ones and i want to put them up on those roller the roller brackets for the for the loading rollers and they're the, the square ones so they're leds and they are um submersible that means you can back them down in the water so uh and then i've got some bearings to do on that but i'll already show you guys the bearings on that so i won't bring you along with me on that but i will show you how i wire up my trailers again it's real simple and a lot of this stuff guys if uh like the way i ran my wire up on top of the the uh the trailer hitch tube if you don't want to do that you can put it down on the bottom just to make sure it's not hanging down you know some of that comes down to matter of preference do i want to run it on top or do i want to run it in front behind whatever that's up to you guys just make sure everything's out of the way and nice and neat and tidy and and you should be all right like i said this particular car if you got left turn and right turn your brakes are going to work because they're on the same circuit uh but the ones that you have to have that little module where you run a power wire to your battery you got to have that you can't do it that way so um you can but I wouldn't advise it because sometimes those will say they're working and then you go to plug it in your trailer lights and you, you're getting wig wags and all kinds of stuff. But this one, you know, if you got left and right turn, you're good to go. Just remember that and uh, hopefully those part numbers help you guys. Hopefully I explained that well enough and not too long that, um, you know, the one is for a, that has the factory tow package one is without the factory toe so thanks for watching guys i appreciate it please check out monkey 1000's channel check out dean moo those guys are awesome and um we'll see you guys in the next one thanks again everybody and uh, i appreciate it we'll see y'all soon bye bye and take care stealthy eh no one knows you have a hitch cool